Yeah. How important is it for you as a true freshman to see the big picture and setting these seniors out with an opportunity to, to go to a bowl game, especially after the way their careers have been sort of up and down here? Yeah, I mean, those seniors definitely been through so much here. Uh, you know, and they've worked so hard, and they haven't always got the results they deserved. So I mean, we, that's definitely something that us underclassmen want to do is send them out the right way. And we have that opportunity in front of us. So we don't make sure we do that. Sam, you being a true freshman, what does this rivalry mean to you with NC State? Yeah, I mean, growing up in the state, you know the rivalry uh, between the two schools. So we definitely, we definitely don't, don't like those guys over there. So. What have the seniors told you about this week? Uh, the four-year seniors haven't beaten them. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's something that, I mean, they, they have a little streak going on right now, so um, we're going to try to change that outcome on Saturday. What is more enticing to you, being the class to end that streak, being the first quarterback since Mark Lee Williams to beat them, or kind of like go hand in hand, but go bowling as a result if you do like What's more enticing? Um, definitely go bowling. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't think the streak, the streak don't really mean anything to me. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously we want to beat them. I mean, just to send these seniors out the right way, that's all we want to do. Have you noticed uh, the difference between when the offense, because in a recent games, even against Pitt, the offense is really quick to hit on some big plays. So what have you noticed the difference between when the offense is really quick to when it is? Uh, I mean, I just think we just get the momentum. Uh, you know, and people just step are stepping up and starting to make play, make more plays. And it just makes the defense hard to stop us when they have so many different things to worry about. <clears throat> Coach Longo described his version of the area offense to us back in the summer. He used the term receivers need to find grass. And that was kind of repeated during fall camp. You guys have had a lot of big touchdowns mm -hmm. the second half of the season. Is that just an issue with the guys finding grass? And if so, what are they doing different to find that grass? Uh, yeah, I think they definitely get more comfortable with the offense. Uh, you know, they get better with that kind of stuff every week. Uh, coach gives them some freedom on some certain types of routes. And, I mean, the more you run, the better you're going to get at them. Uh, it just comes to preparation, too, just watching film, knowing what the defense is going to do and just knowing where the, where the grass is going to open up. As much work as you had with them in the off season, even during fall camp, is it also you getting comfortable with their speed and the timing and, and just getting the ball to them in better spots as well? Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, it's something that we spend a lot of time on is making sure we have those deep throws down. Uh, so, you know, we do that a lot in practice. Uh, you know, the receivers have been good about that. They've always had a good attitude about running all the deep routes because you know, that can be hard for a receiver running so many deep routes every day. So it just goes down to the timing and putting the time into it. Do you feel like your long touchdown pass to Taylor that got called back was one of your better throws this season? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was a pretty good play. Toe made a really good play, uh, but it didn't count, so. The game that you had last week, how much um, – Confidence, you know, that gives you going into, uh, you know, this rival game uh, this week. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gives a little more confidence just knowing that we were successful last Saturday and what our prep, what, how we prepared it paid off for us on Saturday. I uh, you know the best part about last Saturday is just seeing how the guys get to go in and play. I uh, you know that was really cool just because those guys worked so hard and haven't really got to play on Saturday. So that was a cool moment for us. Did you ever uh, attend the game? Yeah, I went to a lot of games over there at NC State. Uh, you know, in the past, they've had some really good environments over there. Uh, I went a couple of times when they played Clemson over there, and the stadium was rocking. So we'll see how it is on Saturday night. What would it mean uh, for his team to get the win, considering everything they've been through the past couple of years? Yeah, I mean, they've definitely been through a lot here. Uh, you know, like I said, they've, they've worked so hard. All these guys have worked so hard. You know, they deserve better than the outcome they've gotten the last couple of years. So we definitely want to do this. I think this team deserves it. So we're going to get everything we got. What's the first dish you're going for at Thanksgiving? Mm, see, yeah, see, I'm a big chicken guy. I don't eat, I don't eat red meat. I'm a, I'll eat a little bit of turkey, but I don't know. The first dish, definitely stuffing, actually. Yeah, stuffing. You and Bateman are the same. Yeah, got to go with the stuffing. My sister actually asked in the group chat today. She was like, <clears throat> does anyone even like stuffing or do I need to make it? I was like, yeah, you got to make it. <laughs> Sam, you've talked about it at this various points of the season, but what is, what's the value in having you know, three running backs that can get the job done this season? What does that mean to you? I think it just takes the pressure off the uh, passing game. It just makes our offense more balanced overall. You know, it's easy knowing you can hand the ball off and it can go for 
at least 10 yards every single time they touch the ball. So it's definitely nice having them there. Mack and Coach Longer said that they <clears throat> see a little bit more leadership coming out of you in recent weeks. Is that a concerted thing on your part, or is it just something that's naturally starting to evolve? Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely try to emphasize it a little more. I know, especially someone in my position, you kind of need to be that leader on the offense side of the ball. Uh, you know, I mean, I also think it just comes with the process, just getting more comfortable with the team and things like that. How, how do you go into this game? Um, they've had their struggles, you know, on defense and everything. I mean, how do you go into this game, you know, not, not overlooking them, you know, thinking that, hey, you know, we got this one, they've been struggling, you know, not overlooking them? Uh, yeah, I think we we definitely aren't overlooking them. Uh, they, they have a really good team, and like I said earlier, they've beaten us, what is it, four years in a row? Three years in a row, so. Uh, you know that we know we're going to get their best game on Saturday night, so we need to be prepared for it.